Hey Scorpio, it's Tara Lynn. Welcome to the channel. So for today's reading, we're going to be looking at your karma and what is coming your way. And I'm going to be giving you advice on how to handle this karma. See if there's any lessons that you need to learn or if there's anything that you can do to make this time better for yourself. And so you can watch this for your sun, moon, or rising. Whatever resonates for you is going to be the message that's meant for you. If you want to get your own private reading, I do sell them. You can check out my Etsy shop or you can message me on Facebook or Instagram. Everything is linked in the YouTube comments down below. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please hit subscribe. I would love to have you here. And also make sure you turn on that bell notification so you don't miss out when I post my next video. I post multiple times a week. I do more zodiac readings like this. I also do pick a pile readings and collective readings along with educational videos to help you all on your spiritual journeys. So for your cards today, you have the eight of cups reversed, nine of wands, seven of swords, page of cups, king of wands, December, clouds, Throne, Star, Ink Pot, Hidden Knight, Gratitude, Shadow Kite, Teacher, and Kunzite, Self Love. So I'm going to take a moment to rearrange these cards so you can see them a bit better. So looking at your tarot cards, I am getting the sense that someone is not as they seem, someone is not true to how they're trying to appear. And the reason that I say that for you is you have this Eight of Cups reversed. Um, and to me, the Eight of Cups, when it's upright, talks about like moving away from things that are no longer bringing emotional fulfillment and walking towards things that's going to bring you more fulfillment, um, like making a choice on what to leave behind. And so the fact that it's reversed first indicates to me it's like there's something in your life that's not bringing you fulfillment but yet you haven't been able to shake you haven't been able to let go of it and um, if you look we have the tarot cards and then the um, oracle cards here they kind of correspond because we got fives for both of them so in the order that they appeared I kind of put the corresponding oracle card underneath so we're gonna look at the energies of the two cards paired together but I want to say um, some of you might be receiving like messages numerology wise in forms of five like repeating numbers of fives um, just because we have two sets of fives here. So you might be seeing number five um, repeating as like 55 or 555. Five, five. Um, it might just be appearing in your life. And so I wanted to take note of that. But what I'm sensing for you, you have this December card with this Eight of Cups reverse. And so December is kind of like the last month of the year. It's the wrap up month. Um, and it is where there is um, some stagnancy because it's endings, things are slowing down, um, things are changing, they're coming to a halt, you're finishing things up, you're wrapping them up. And so to me, it's like you're holding on to things that really in the new year you need to let go of and you're realizing that you're seeing that and so karmically, I think that you are being taught a lesson by having someone in your life kind of treat you badly so that the universe is trying to teach you to let go of them. Like sometimes if you let people overstay their welcome, things are going to change and they're going to change for the worse. Um, it's kind of the universe karmically showing you right now that you need to let go of things. You can't hold on to everything. If you hold on to everything, you don't let go of things that have changed that you no longer need. You're going to have a lot of clutter in your life. It's going to create a lot of confusion for you because then you have this nine of wands here and then you have clouds, temporary problems. And so with this nine of wands here, this card always reads to me as like play with fire, you get burned. It's like someone here was playing with fire and now it's all over them. Like it's blocking their vision. It's blocking everything. Uh, some of you Scorpios, you could be dealing with fire signs because you also have the king of wands so fire signs is leo sagittarius or aries that could be the people in your life that maybe you need to release and let go of but i get the sense it's like you're playing with fire and now you're getting burned because they're creating temporary problems in your life um this is someone where maybe when you met you weren't bad um but you both have changed, you both have grown, and there's nothing wrong with changing and evolving. But you can't try and hold everyone's hand as you change. You have to let them catch up to you. If they don't catch up to you, let them go. You'll find other people. You'll find people in your life who are on the same level that you are. But right now, it's like you're holding on to them or this situation for those of you where this isn't a person because you are afraid of letting go. But what you're being told right now karmically is not bringing emotional fulfillment. So there's no benefit to holding on to this situation. And that's why karmically you're being shown it's time to let it go. That's why you're having all these issues because karmically you're meant to release it and you're not, you're resisting that change. And so in turn, there's a lot of problems in your life. Think back to when you were a kid and you were growing with your shoe size. If you deny that your foot was growing, 
and you kept the same shoes you did when you were five, by the time you're 10, those shoes aren't gonna fit you the same way. They're gonna be a little tight, they're gonna hurt. And if you continue to be in denial about growing and you continue to walk in them, you're gonna end up being the one hurting yourself. And so that's what's going on in your life is that there's this growing pains where you are trying to hold on to someone that is no longer fitting in your life. And I also feel like this person with the Seven of Swords and his throne, position of authority. This is someone who has a manipulating energy. You might not be aware of it, you might be in denial of it. They know exactly what problems they're causing for you. They know exactly what they're doing. Some of you, I'm being told, your reading varies a little bit. Instead of this being someone that you were holding on to, this is someone new entering your life because you have repeated this pattern in the past with people. The universe is sending a karmic person into your life who is not good for you, who um, is going to create a lot of trouble in your life, and the universe is sending them as a test to see how much you put up from with them and if you actually set healthy boundaries with them or not and if you remove them from your life. And it's kind of a test to see if you are protecting yourself or not. Because I feel like lately you haven't been protecting yourself. Um, because you allow people in your life to manipulate you. Because you put them in this position of authority in your life. And so it makes it where you feel like you don't know how to tell them off. Or like you aren't in a position of power in your life to remove them from your life. And the universe is giving you this lesson to say... It doesn't matter who this person is in your life. You are the person of authority in your life. You're number one. So whoever you want in your life stays, whoever you don't want in your life goes. And you have to make sure that you're looking inwardly and actually choosing to stay with people who are good for you, who are beneficial, and who aren't hurting you. And make sure that you're the one setting those healthy boundaries with people in your life. It doesn't matter who it is. Like in any relation or their position in your life, you are the one in control. And if it's really a situation in which you can't cut them out completely, you can at least control how much time you give to them. You can control the situations in which you meet. You can control aspects of your lives where you're creating enough distance where if they are a manipulating person, you're not letting them manipulate you. Now you are in control over the situation because you're aware of it. Right now, there's no awareness here. There's no accountability on your end. You're trying to deny the things that you know are true about them. This person's word is not valid. It, they don't mean anything they say. They can say a million things. It doesn't mean anything. They don't hold their commitments true. Um, this person doesn't care about hurting you. They're looking out for themselves. They are the one in position of authority in their life. So why aren't you in the position of authority when it comes to your life? That's what you really need to ask yourself. That's why this karmic situation is going on because the universe is trying to make you aware of this. That's why this karmic person is in your life. They're not meant to be in your life forever. They were meant to be a karmic lesson, but you're not waking up to it. Then you've got this page of cups and you have the star, guaranteed success. So the thing about the page of cups, it is an energy where it's the page. So the page is someone who's learning who still is immature, who's still young, and still has a lot to discover about the world. And the thing about the Page of Cups is that they are someone where they are very naive in the sense where they are not seeing the bad in anything. They are very ill-illusioned, where they are very optimistic, they are very positive, and they're a dreamer, which is great um, to have the ability to dream big and not let people tear you down um, and believe in yourself and your ideas. But they can go a little bit wrong when they're too trusting to the wrong people because they're naive. And so people take advantage of that. People manipulate them. That's what's going on right now. It's like you are too naive to the situation or you're in denial. Either way, your denial is making you naive. Um, because I feel like some of you, you're getting defensive when I'm saying that you're naive. And I'm not saying in general you're naive. I'm saying in regards to this specific situation, you are acting very naive. Um, you are acting immature about it because you're not wanting to face the music. You're not wanting to face the truth. You are trying to be in denial about this person and the fact that they are not meant to be in your life anymore and that's really hindering you because with the star here um, the star to me represents like this navigator um, the guidance and so the thing is this page of cups can be guiding you but if you look at the page of cups they're still in their eggs um, and so the birds haven't hatched yet and so they're looking to the mother to navigate for them. They're looking to the mother to guide them. And I feel like for you, it's indicating karmically, you need to pay attention to the people in your life 
who are actually giving you sound advice about this person. I feel like others in your life who are looking out for you who have a less naive perspective are trying to navigate you in the right direction and say, hey, this is a red flag, this is suspicious, I don't really like this. They're trying to give you their opinion and help you out and it's like you keep dismissing them and you keep kind of invalidating them in a sense. And I feel like it's because you really don't want to wake up to this yet. Um, and so that's why this karmic situation is happening because they're going to continue to create problems in your life over and over and over again until you wake up to it. I think this person is kind of hoping that you stay naive because they're benefiting from this. But they are really creating a lot of chaos in your life. And if they haven't started that chaos yet, that's about to happen. And the reason that's going to happen is because that's the universe's way of showing you they're not meant to be in your life, that you need to remove them, that you're playing with fire, you're getting burned by them. Because ink pot problems need to be resolved with the king of wands. So like I said, you could be dealing with a fire sign, but this king of wands is also someone where they're the king, they're looking out for themselves, they have their own back. This person, again with this throne here, they have no problems putting themselves first. This is a very selfish person. That's what I'm picking up from them. They are very selfish. They put themselves first. Um, and the thing is, when I talk about you putting yourself first, it's different than with them because the way they do it, they're selfish. They don't care about others. They are very self-centered. Whereas with you, you need to put yourself first because you rarely do it. You don't do it enough. Uh, because Scorpio, yes, yeah, sometimes you get the bad rap um, for being the less sensitive of the water signs, but the thing is you're still a water sign. You still care. You still have compassion. You might not let everyone see it. You might not let everyone in, but you feel deeply. And so the thing about you is that you have this mask of acting tough and like you have everything together, but you don't. And so the thing is when you become a little bit more selfish, it's in balance because you haven't been doing it. You haven't been putting yourself first. You're not doing it in a self-centered way. You're doing it in a self-preservation way where you're protecting yourself because everything in life is about balance. So you putting yourself first would be creating balance for you. They actually need to put others first for them to have balance in their life. Um, and so what I'm sensing is that here they are, they're this king of wands. They don't care what havoc they cause your life. They don't care how they treat you. They don't care how you feel. They don't care how these issues affect you because ultimately they are using you and they're using you because they kind of want to keep you at the level that you're at because if they keep you at this level if they keep tearing you down wrecking your self-esteem and hurting you you're always going to be there for them they're always going to have that support that's why they are trying to attach themselves to you and that's why they are trying to create issues in your lives because they don't want you to grow they don't want you to have guaranteed success they don't want you to seek out these dreams and actually cultivate them they want you to not be fulfilled because if you're not fulfilled by other things in your life you're going to hold on to them this person seems very manipulating and a little bit vindictive with how they're going about things. Like they know full well what they're doing. And so you're trying to give this person the benefit of the doubt and Spirit's telling you do not give them the benefit of the doubt. And I feel like there are some of you who are watching this and you know this about the person. Um, I feel like there are some of you who are watching this message and you are in full agreement about this. Like you agree that they are very self-centered um, and that you need to release this person. And Spirit is giving you this message as confirmation to go ahead and do that. Because this karmic situation is occurring so that you wake up to it, so that you realize it. It's not happening for no reason. So Spirit wants you to realize it, they want you to act on it because then you have your crystal cards here. And so you have hidden night gratitude. So. The thing is, right now, there's a lack of fulfillment in your life because this person is just draining you so much. They're taking up your time, energy, they're distracting you. So there's also a lack of gratitude for yourself because it's like you're validating yourself through this person instead of validating yourself through yourself. That's where spirit wants you to put yourself first so that you are actually finding your own happiness within yourself. You're not relying on others anymore because I feel like with this hidden night, it's like this gratitude is hidden within you. It's like you've almost forgotten the good things about yourself because of all the temporary problems that they've caused. And then you have the teacher card here. And so with this teacher energy, it's like you are teaching yourself lessons through this. You are waking up to things, you are understanding them. And in turn, you are also teaching yourself how to put yourself first, how to do these things that you haven't done before 
and in doing so you're gonna have so much gratitude and self-love for yourself this is happening because there's a lack of self-love and worthiness within yourself and so for those of you who are you have cut this person out already now it's time to do this healing now it's time to take a breather take a step back be like okay i did the first step i have started to break this karmic cycle of allowing people in my life who are not good for me to stay in my life longer than they need to now i am going to make a change where i am putting myself first i have enough self-love for myself that the moment that someone is no longer good for me i let them go i don't hold on to them anymore because i don't need to because you're finding this self-love within yourself where you don't need to hold on to people who aren't supporting you and uplifting you and loving you because that's just hurting yourself and it's like you don't need them for that external validation anymore. You don't need them because you don't want to be alone anymore. It's like all those fears are dissipating because you're teaching yourself healthier habits and ways to internally heal and have gratitude for yourself that is actually helping you break this cycle. Because I feel like this cycle is stemming from this almost um, self-fulfilling prophecy. I'm not sure that's the right word for it, but basically it's like, there's a lack of fulfillment in your life um, because maybe you haven't been able to do the things you want to do yet. Maybe you're still working on yourself. Like you're still a work in progress and there's nothing wrong with that. But it's like then you had this person come into your life where maybe you weren't the most confident. Maybe um, you didn't have things figured out and so you kind of created this bond with them. And they came into your life and at first you know things could have been good um you didn't sense any of the red flags and so you created this almost codependent energy with them where you got your validation you got your fulfillment through them and now there's problems there's issues and you're realizing they're not bringing you this fulfillment and validation that you thought that they once were but yet you're afraid to let go of them because of everything you have projected onto them. And so now you are learning that you need to let go of them, but that's difficult because you have attached all these things of love and worthiness and validation onto them, where you feel like you're almost letting all those good parts about yourself go. And this lesson is meant to teach you, you have all that within yourself. That's not anything to do with them. That's everything to do with you. And you need to teach yourself that. And I feel like that's what you're going to be going through is learning how to take back your power, reclaim your energy and actually heal yourself properly instead of attaching your worthiness to others or things in your life or distractions or hiding from the truths of yourself and the things you're insecure about. It's like, no, now you're doing the hard work where you're not letting other people be in your life and distract you. You're not putting things onto them. You're not making it someone else's job to fix you. You're actually doing the hard work yourself by learning this lesson, facing it, and then doing the work you need to do to heal yourself. This is gonna be a process. It's not going to be easy, but karmically, this is how you're gonna break the cycle. And that's what is being sent your way is opportunities to learn your lesson opportunities to let people go opportunities to be self-sufficient and by yourself for a bit of time where you were actually able to have people in your life who love and support you but you are not finding your worthiness through them you're finding it internally you're no longer going to burn yourself by playing with fire now you are finding your own confidence within yourself but you're doing it in a healthy way where it's not going to come back to bite you. You're not relying on anyone anymore. Um, not in the sense where you're never relying on anyone for anything, but you're not relying on others for your own fulfillment. You're gonna take the time to actually heal yourself properly. Because I feel like for a long time now, it's like you've been jumping to the distractions and um, saying you're healing yourself, but not actually doing the inner work, the more difficult work. It's like you've been doing the surface level stuff or just convincing yourself that you're doing the work. It's like you've been very naive with the page of cups. You think everything's easy. You think that it doesn't require hard work just because you have an idea where you want to go or what you want to do. And you think if you just convince yourself that you are already it, it's going to magically happen. Um, especially those of you who believe in manifestation. And the thing is, it's like, yes, manifestation is real, but manifestation isn't just believing in something alone. It's about believing it and doing the work to do it. And so that's what's been lacking right now is you haven't been wanting to change your behaviors and change has to start with you taking the first step. You have to start that change for there to be a ripple effect. If nothing ever disturbs the water, there's never going to be a ripple effect. You have to be the one to disturb the water. 
And so I feel like that's really what is going on for you with this karmic cycle is the universe has been giving you this message, but you haven't been wanting to make that change. And so this is your confirmation that you need to make the change because number five, as I was saying earlier, that that's your number five is the number of change. So karmically, you're getting an opportunity to change your life, but you have to be the one to act on it. If you don't act on it, this cycle is going to keep repeating in your life. You're gonna continue the cycle with different people in your life over and over, like I feel some of you have been doing already, but you're not gonna make the change, so it's going to keep happening. Um, the way to learn this lesson and make it where it stops, where you don't have as many people causing issues and problems in your life, is by actually doing the work now because putting it off is gonna allow you to stay in this limbo, this chaos, this problem area of your life with a lack of solutions because the solution is to let this person go, remove them from your life. And so if you don't do that, you're gonna find the temporary solutions to these problems, but you're never gonna be able to stop all your problems because you're not cutting it from the root down. That's the only way to truly end it. It's almost like you have a tree, you keep cutting the branches, but you don't cut the roots. It's never gonna disappear. You had to cut this person out in order to get the roots. And I also feel like the reason you have December here is because in December, all the trees and stuff die because it's cold um, and it's not what they're used to. The weather is different. There's been a change, there's been a shift. And so eventually in spring, the trees will come back to life, the plants will come back to life, but people don't walk around in December and act like everything's healthy and alive. People aren't in that denial, and that's kind of what you're doing. It's like, instead of just accepting that the season has changed, the weather has changed, it's like you are still trying to act like it's summertime, it's springtime, when it's not. And so that's really what you need to realize is that just because you're accepting that things have shifted doesn't mean that they never once were good. It doesn't mean that everything is a lie or that everything you thought is wrong. It just means that the season has simply changed for this person to be in your life. And they were in your life for a reason and now it's time to let them go. And so I feel like once you acknowledge that and you give yourself grace and peace and you don't beat yourself up over this situation and you just start on making a change, it's gonna be really beneficial for you. And so I'm sending you so much love and light as you're going through this. I know it's not easy, but it's going to feel so much better to let them go because they're stressing you out so much. It's not worth the trouble. They're not worth the trouble. And karmically, the universe is trying to get you to learn that lesson that it's not worth it. And so it's better to just put yourself first. It's better to acknowledge the temporary pain of letting them go, then continue them to cause you this heartache by continuing to be in your life and not fully be there for you, not fully support you. It's like you're torturing yourself by having them in your life and it's just not worth it. And so I really hope that you take this message to heart. I'm sending you so much love and light as you go through this. And if this resonates for you, please let me know in the YouTube comments down below. Also give this video a big thumbs up and share with others who need to hear it. If you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe. I would love to have you a part of this family. Make sure you turn on that bell notification so you don't miss out when I post my next video. I'm going to have more videos linked in the cards for you to watch next. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. I hope you have a good one. Bye.